Welcome to Brawlhalla. Um, so that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get into our second winner's quarterfinals matchup here. Um, as we go ahead and get into round one here. Tiffany and Pierre. And we saw Tiffany knock out Parallel earlier. That was pretty clean. Very dominant dub. She is on the Hattori. Pierre still on this fate. And Tiff does have the lead here. Pierre picking up that sidelight. Sarah, the big neutral sig. Probably definitely one of the better orb sigs in the game. Catches that aerial landing so well. Catches that sidelight, Sarah. But Tiff with the D-like ground pound is not going to kill quite yet. Looks for that weapon throw. Maybe he was looking for some sort of egg drop. But Pierre with the neutral sig on Scythe. Taking Tiff out when she did have the lead. Yeah, absolutely. And right now, man, Pierre is doing pretty well against Tiff. I mean, Tiff does have that sword right now. We'll have to see what they can really do with it. Pierre able to land that falling side air. Tiff with the neutral light coming in and gets that jump side air knockout on Pierre's first stock. Making his two stocks all here. Uh, but overall, I mean, Pierre is doing pretty dang well. And keep in mind, we have not seen Pierre in a winner's semifinals in a very, very long time. And I think with him doing a lot of the stuff offline and being able to improve his mental a lot more, because he used to have a totally different mental a few months ago. And now going in with that faith and, and changing his mindset has been definitely working out for him. And you definitely see it here. However, right now, Tiff's also been doing phenomenally well with that Hattori pick as well. We have, we're not used to seeing Tiff and on top eight side of, uh, or top eight winner side of Moose Wars. We see him a couple times, like once in a while, but that's fairly recently, right? We're not used to seeing them. And Tiff goes ahead and knocks out Pierre's second stock here. It's been a very, very interesting matchup so far. Her play is just looking so good. You know, she's not overextending, not doing anything crazy, but she's winning almost all of these neutral engagements, it's looking like. Big hammer strings, but Pierre with these super well-placed signatures are just killing right when he needs to. Using that fake kit extremely well. I think he was using the neutral sig on the scythe, but the exhaust recovery from Tiff almost killing off the top on small raw haven with that spear would have been a massive KO. Gets the double neutral air, and just like that, Pierre is in the red. Makes it back to stage with that orb there. Picks up the Sarah, probably wanting to swap over to the Scythe, maybe, but the D-Light recovery killing off the top. True combo, small ceiling, Tiffany taking game number one. Yeah, very nice job coming out of Tiff, and that was just so quick coming in. As soon as that second stock came around, that was probably, like, I went, I went to go ahead and check the brackets to make sure everything was okay. And they just knocked Pierre into outer space during that time, man. And now, we're going into round two. And Pierre's playing that Mordex. So we'll have to see how he does with that. Going from that Fate over to the Mordex. Yeah, swapping off the Fate to the Mordex. I know he's definitely a fan of both of these Scythe Legends. I'm not sure which one's higher. I would assume his Mordex is higher than his Fate, I'm pretty sure. So this is probably maybe a bit more of a comfort pick to him. Now, Fate didn't really receive any nerfs because she's got that Orb and the Scythe. But Mordex... He did get the little gauntlet nerf, nothing crazy. I think maybe one of his signatures as well. Probably not really going to affect the character too much, especially at this level of play. Not going to be seeing too much hindrance at all. Sticking with that tried and true Mordex, putting Tiffany in the orange. Definitely looking like it's working, starting off strong. Picks up the stairs, swapping over to the scythe. Looks for some sort of neutral sig, but Tiffany punishing it with the D-Light stair, making it back to the stage with the recovery nair. Pierre with a little reverse down air weapon throw. Another down air, weapon throw, Tiff dodging the weapon throw. Doesn't get the ground pound a little bit too early, but the GC D-Light recovery takes Tiff's first stock. Yeah, very nice job coming out of Pierre there, knocking out Tiffany's first stock. And, and right now, Tiff is able to go ahead and come back, get a sword, but we do appear knocking Tiff into the yellow of that second stock here. And Pierre's still on that first stock as we speak tiff with the neutral light read on pierre not able to go ahead and counter pierre's two unarmed attacks though however like goes back to platform does that side air does that jump side air and right now pierre coming back to platform does the weapon throw nair into a more signature this is the signature in tiffany with the counter knockout on pierre's first stock making his two stocks all the nice old dash jump sarah coming out from tiff 
Didn't want Pierre to get that down sig, but he's still going for these signatures and the GC side sig does connect, putting Tiff about in the red, looking for another read. That sidelight into end sig, but it looks like Tiffany just definitely fast falling out of that. Maybe knows it's coming, maybe not, but the ground pound back to stage is going to put her in the deep red. Super kill percent and Pierre with the turnaround set is going to lead to an easy edge guard, but can he get it? He does not. Ooh. Recovery though on the way up is going to take Tiffany out to one stocks throwing the weapons up sticking with the scythe and they are on small brawl haven so he could get a very quick early gimp with the scythe almost caught the dodge there on Tiff's GC side sig the D by recovery is not killing off the top quite yet nice old two piece coming up from Pierre's scythe the Sarah connects from Tiff's spear and our Nair back to stage picking up the gauntlets the Nair connects Looks for the read, but the ground pound is still not going to kill quite yet. Now Pierre has to be worried, but the Nair into ground pound. Tiff going around, not wanting to deal with that. Dying already. Who is going to take the stock first? Because Pierre is in dark red, but he's still racking up this damage so well. Tiff with the cider. Yeah, and as we go ahead and get into the three minute mark, we are at one stock all, but Pierre has that half stock lead over Tiff. Trying to go in for an early knockout. You can see he tried baiting Tiff a little bit off that ledge. He's able to get back to that platform and pick up that scythe here. So right now, Pierre with the double nair on the Tiff does not knock out Tiff with it though. However, Tiffany coming in with the two light attacks. Pierre with the nair of their own. Going unarmed, gets the unarmed two piece, and Tiff gets knocked out of the final stock by Pierre as we go ahead and get into round three. Very nice job by Pierre. Okay, okay. Just picking up that nice little D light GC uppercut on Tiff. Taking her out. Now, is he going to stay on the Morex? Most likely. You know, if you get the dub, you're probably going to stay on that character. But I think you mentioned earlier, you know, it being a community tournament, people definitely like trying new picks. They, you know, they don't want to whip it out in major. And as what I say that, the Diana comes out almost a polar opposite. No scythe, no gauntlets, no orb, nothing. Got the bow and the guns. So here we go. We're going to see what Pierre's Diana is looking like against Tiffany's Hattori. I'm not gonna lie, the drip on that character is also pretty good as well, man. I don't know, we'll have to see if the drip leads into better skill with the character going forward. But right now, we have not seen Pierre use that Diana pick at all during this event. And I don't think we've seen them play Diana in general. So now they're going in with the bow. They're going in with the blasters. Weapons we're not used to seeing them play. However, I do know Pierre hangs a little bit around Cody. So maybe that blaster's influence um, may be impacting Pierre's gameplay here. We'll have to see Tiff going a little bit crazy, but does not knock out Pierre with that neutral signature. Pierre using this bow pretty well. Wants to go over to blasters though. And Cody, you know, definitely one, if not one of the, you know, best blast players in the game, if not the best. So if that is actually true, Pierre could potentially be an absolute demon on this Diana pick. But Tiffany is looking very strong and the cider over the edge taking out Pierre's first stock. Tiff in the yellow, looking very nice on this Hattori pick. The spear is looking well, the double neutral air, such a big hitbox. Caught the dodge, definitely hard to get around. Goes for another falling there, but Pierre catching onto it. Picks up the neutral sig down air, evening up the stocks extremely quickly. Yeah, we'll have to see, but I mean, I'm very, very surprised to see Pierre playing this, man. It, like you said, totally polar opposites of what we're using, used to seeing them use. And you can definitely tell that they don't practice blasters insanely as much because they're going for these side airs and just taking advantage of it. Pierre with a three-piece unarmed combo, getting that bow nair right afterwards. But their bow is extremely good right now. Yeah, I don't think I've... He's really seen Pierre play much bow at all, and like you said, it is looking clean. He does make it back to the stage, avoids the helicopter ground pound barely. Nice old neutral air on to Tiff. That is not going to really have any force to do anything. And the sidelines. Oh! Kobe weapon throw across the whole map. Tiff kind of just falling right into that. Maybe she didn't have the options or didn't see it. I don't know. But that is a very nice kill confirmed for Pierre. He takes those. Looking for that GC down like back to stage. Gets the sidelight off stage. 
Tiff kind of risking it all, going for that unarmed ground pound. Pierre just leaving her alone, not really going for anything crazy. You know, he's got that stock lead, but Tiff still going for another ground pound. Gets it this time, evening up those stocks. Yeah, and right now, man, we're going in. This is round three. This is the this is almost like a tiebreaker style fit, like matchup, right? Each player has one round, and the winner of this matchup or this round will have the advantage for the entire set. And both these players really, really want. You can see Tiff being a little bit more uh, in the background there with the sword, but Pierre just going really, really good with the blasters, and their blasters are going crazy. Pierre coming oh in with that lovely little two-piece and man we're not we're seeing a different side pierre that i never expected to see in my time watching him play in brahal esports tonight yeah man i mean as i was mentioning you know characters trying different picks he just brings out the diana just pops off for the one time gets a massive blaster recovery off the top like that was that was some style points man pierre definitely looking very clean on that Diana, you mentioned that drip too. I don't know which bow that is. I think that bone bow, maybe. I'm not sure, but the drip could be helping AJ. And they're taking it in to small mammoth fortress. Surprisingly, haven't been seeing this map too much. I know other community tournaments, other moose wars, like we'll be seeing this map maybe 80, maybe 90% of the time. But definitely seeing a lot of different, you know, match map mix ups. And it's pretty cool to see a difference. D Light Sarah coming out from. Pierre, another Sarah, and that's the thing. These blasters are working extremely well, so maybe he did get the Cody coaching. I'm not sure. I don't know, but even if he didn't, the amount of gameplay that Pierre is using with these blasters has been phenomenal, man. And he comes in with a dare, tries to do a little bit of recovery, but Gratik is down like recovery by Pierre, knocking out Tiff's first stock. This is phenomenal. I'm not used to seeing this from our, our from Pierre. Tip with the down light side air. Trying to really go and knock out Pierre's first sock. Gets that recovery. Nice recovery by Tiff. Oh, he's trying to get the weapon. Picks up the blasters immediately. Going for that recovery. Tiff. Perfect punish. Turn around. Side signature. Big special attack. Gonna take out his stock. Perfect punish by Pierre coming on that new stock, that GC down like ground pound tiff with the wake up neutral light, catching the D light on that platform very well. Use of the one moving platform on this map, but Pierre looking for that down sig, trying to send tiff off stage, picks up the nair, tiff with the reverse dare, and they're just hitting each other back and forth. Like literally one way to dare, the other hits a nair, Pierre with the sair here, tiff with the reverse sair, barely misses the recovery. The Nair almost kills off oh! Blasters gives Tiff the smoke with the neutral sig. Now, I will say this, like, Pierre's bow has been phenomenal, even going into, like, aerial-style attacks. He, however, as soon as he comes back over to Blasters, he's doing really good on weapon finishes with it. So, it definitely seems like he's picked up a thing or two from Cody, but right now, Kiff has Pierre in an awkward situation off ledge without a weapon. Let's see what Pierre does. He tries to pick up that blaster. He does. Tries to land that Nair. Trying to land these light attacks. He lands the Greg as a down light, but misses this neutral signature. And Tiff takes advantage of it with that amazing sword combo. Knocking Pierre down into their final stock. But Pierre has a half stock lead as we speak. And this is going to be very interesting to see how Pierre goes forward with this. Along with Tiff. Will Tiff get an early knockout? Maybe not! Pierre! going absolutely crazy knocking out tiff's final stock and pierre takes the set three and one